how to connect the Angular frontend with Next.js backends. First of all, we need to make sure that we have Nest installed. We can do by typing npm install slash g for global installation nest js cli so once this is completed we can check if we have the version installed like this now we can proceed with creating the the next project like type nest new for example sub backend we can choose the default one and now it will take a couple of minutes to complete the uh, installation once this is done we can go and open the project we can navigate to the and open with VS Code like this when we open the project we need to get the SSRC folder in the hub controller file where we will create a simple endpoint which will communicate with our front-end application so for example I can do it initially like this and give it a name like message another thing we need to do we need to go to the main gs file and we need to enable the course so our so we can make sure that the angular front end will talk with uh, with, with the backend without getting blocked by the browser so we can do the following we'll enable course and for origin i will put the front end url like this okay. we'll call post there we have it set no this should be enough okay now let's open. okay we need to start it first to check if everything is, is okay and start oh, good thing the server is running at for 3000 Let's get back to the uh, front-end application that we created at this moment. Uh, first, we need to generate a service which will be communicating with the Nest application. We'll call it API, for example. You should see it here. Now we need to import uh, HTTP client which will be used for the communication. So we can create this HTTP, HTTP client in the column from the column library, and here in the and here we can create a new method, a message. Then we we'll use the URL for the next app which is running. It's running at 3000. To get the message on point in the response type of the text. 
okay mm, this is enough here and let's use the dashboard component that we created for the lazy loading so you can navigate here and create a property that we will assign the value from the nest you can just this empty drink here we need to create a constructor as well mm, where we will go to the service have it API API service back here we will call the API and the method get message we will, we will use the subscribe method to resolve all events and changes Yep. This is a method we will, where we will get uh, the data. Less for response. This message calls. And we will use, we will also create a line for handling the er errors if any. So, error. This will switch. We can, yeah, we can use this suggestion. Okay, and once we have the message, we can use it in the template like this. We need to call it. And we, we need to check if we can if everything runs okay. When everything looks fine. Let's head to the browser. Open the browser with with this route, and now to test if everything is okay we need to navigate to the dashboard and say hello from new and that's all now you know